Okay, the first thing we have to do is take our 24 inches of the 28 gauge and just fold it in half, like find the center, which is there. And take your 6 inch long wire and just wrap it around like so. Just sort of, just lay it over, sort of center it and just lay it over and put the other one so it's just roughly on top see so and then what we'll do now is I'm gonna wrap that around the first one there and then I'll do that like that and go under your first wire and sort of fairly tight just pull it together and then go over so what we're doing is just wrapping it around your six inch wire see so just continue doing that until you finish off your 24 inches of the 28 gauge wire. So just continue wrapping that until you only have about an inch left on your wire. So we'll leave that one. And so that's it. So we got, I left those two sides there, um, sort of open like that and I'll show you later on what I'm going to do with them. So if we put it in our mandrel, so I've got a nine there, so roughly, so I do eight and a half. Can you see we're sort of meeting up? Yeah, so that's size eight and a half. And they're almost touching. So now that you worked out roughly the size of your ring, uh, if you're making something a bit smaller than eight and a half, what I suggest is um, just get a knife or this is actually a snipping uh, scissor for sewing, but I broke it so I'm using it as a tool now, it's like a knife. What I suggest is just press them along until you get the desired um, size of your ring so but anyway so we leave it at that and then so what we'll do next is just open this one up and then put that through there and what we'll have to do is wrap one of them see this side just get your flat pliers flat nose pliers that is and just wrap it around a couple of times. So one, that through there, and two. So it looks like you've got three, but just wrap it around a couple of times. It'll do. Okay, the next step is insert two beads of your wire, on your wire that's in the middle. So what I'll do now is just leave that there and I'm going to go under a ring. Pull that one with your pliers. See that there? So I'm just tuck the, ring, the, the wire onto the other side and I'll do the same on this side. So you just sort of tuck it in, see, I've just folded that. I'm going to bring it on the opposite side of our ring so it's sort of tucked in underneath there. Okay, just straighten that one out. So now, so you've got your two beads sitting there. The next step, what we'll do is put another bead on. Just straighten the tip of that because it will not go into the hole otherwise. Ok, 
Okay, so put that there. Just bend it over like that. Okay, so we'll just leave that there and then we'll do the same on the other side. So I'll put another bead into that. So you've got, so far, you've got four. And do the same thing. So I just push that in there. Just hold your bead and then pull it along. Because that will bend and then go there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, so with one, um, we'll work on the long wire first. So I'm going to wrap this around that way. Just going around again and bring it up so that way our bit's nice and secure. Okay, so now we'll work on the two short wires there. So those two short ones. What I want to do with this one is bring it over like so. I'm just pulling that across and what I want to do is tuck it in to this other one here like so see that so and just pull it along Okay, just sort of to secure it and we'll get a round nose pliers and we'll just do a little spiral in that one. Just sort of to secure it. So just nicely tucked in and we're tucking it in underneath. See that? So I'm just squeezing that one, that wire, and tucking it in nicely there. See there? So make sure it doesn't catch on. Yep. Now what we'll do with these two wires that we've got left, I'm going to add another bead, but this time I'm putting a bigger bead in the center. This is a uh, 8mm. And then we'll put that one through there, so that sort of forms like a center um, bead for your ring. So, so what we'll do is get your round nose pliers and just do a spiral. Okay, get that one. And just do that. And probably twist it a little bit out there. Okay, so now we've got that there, like so. So if you're happy with that, you can leave it like that. And when you get to this stage, what you'll do is get your mandrel or any um, round object that you've got that you sort of worked out the size and just slide it through. See, so it's going to eight, so I really want to get eight and a half. So just keep hammering until I get to eight and a half. So once you reach that, which is there now, so I've got eight and a half, I'll take that off and switch it around, turn it around and do the other side, just to even it out. That one a little bit more. Hammer that one a little bit more. So there, and let's finish. Now to test, see if it fits on my middle finger. There you go. There you go, beautiful. And that's it.